Welcome back. Nice to the Good Morning Niger Show. And as the matter they be so, we want Shapali to uh, follow our better guest talk uh, regarding this whole Twitter matter. As it be, yes, the conversations don't day and people don't get their own reservations about them. See, as government don't lift the ban, uh, waiting happen, sharing a political move, and the uh, economic effect where this ban even costs in the first place for businesses and everybody where they operate on top of that platform. Now, Oga Fini, uh, Edward Fini, Brice Bay, now go follow us, uh, chat via Zoom and in the political analyst and lawyer. Ogafini, how far? Good morning. I did. Correct, correct, correct. Uh, precious I day here. We thank God. Everything yeah, Madam okay. Precious, good morning. <laughs> I did ask what you could do. Uh, Ochuko, Ochuko, don't go do things. Ingo drink water drop Ingo cup. drink water drop cup. As you talk about. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, so today we won't discuss this Twitter ban and the economic effect. And uh, today okay. we'll go even uh, as the Twitter does start, we'll go sharply go there. We'll go see whether we fit a uh, check some of the things as it be. Uh, because sometimes we have, some people still don't believe, say, the Twitter, the function. Uh, because they don't try and it not work, but as it be so, we see say it they work live and direct. So you will be uh, open get person on top of this matter. We even discuss the economic effect of how this thing take shake the country. Uh, looking at it be how you take Siam from the whole now uh, 222 days, bam, now this thing take Shelley. How you take see this yeah. whole matter as it be? Uh, well, anything we get to do with economy, uh, money, uh, money matter. So now the, now the financial losses, mm -hmm. now we will come begin to consider, right? According to net blocks, according yes. to net blocks, uh, Nigeria will Nigeria be lose 104.2 million every hour, huh. every hour from the moment when they block Twitter for Nigeria, right? And accumulatively, that was about, uh, you got bring up to about, uh, I think in the 20, 222 days, you can't bring out to about 5,328 hours, right? Mm. Now, if they lose 104.2 million every hour in 5,328 hours, we ended up losing about 546.5 billion. Wow. Within, 20, within 222 days. Um, Oga, Oga right. Edward, before you continue for this matter, uh, you get some kind of confusion with the mm. concerning where this money, how we take lose this money. Some people talk, say, uh, and a small and medium scale businesses where they use Twitter and then lose the money. While some people talk, say, no, now the technology to use top Nigerians from, to cut out Nigerians from using the application Twitter, say, if they cost money to use, you know, get a technology, we go use top Nigerians from using Twitter. Na say na dear, na would they use? So the money will you spend on that technology? Yeah. Na be that amount. So I would like me explain that yeah. well to people, make them understand. And the, now the cost, the, the, there's, there's what they call, according to Netflix, like the cost of the shutdown too. Hmm. The cost of the shutdown too. This one never did for the ones say business too. suffer. Yes. So now the shutdown too. Mm -hmm. Now you need to talk. I cite the ones. I cite the ones. When, and, and whether you like them or not, the social media are big. Now, 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 big world on your own. A big platform. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of Nigerians, millions of Nigerians, they make so much from now. Now marketplace. Yes. Now marketplace on your own. So I just to talk about the the way it affects the economy in itself. Okay. Hmm. Not, but we never, but we never begin because they will calculate. We, we don't feel categorically state how much Nigerians hmm. lost from this whole block of uh, this shutdown of Twitter. Hmm. We don't feel calculate how much Nigerians lost in itself. You know. Okay. So I, it might, it might also be over billions as well. Hmm. Great stuff. So this, um, this um, stats where you give us now, are based on the amount of money that you take short term down for these yeah, 222 the days. Hmm. Yes, the cost of the shutdown too. Okay, so now yeah. looking at as the fact that they, they, they don't um, um, unban the matter and the, the terms and conditions where government been given Twitter regarding this whole thing, she, uh, so have, have, have they been met? Or she na process to some of them. They don't. They do some of them. Small, small. They come. But what will be the the, be the uh, final um, outcome regarding that? Most, first things first. Uh, but, 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 we, but we state reality. Okay. Um, the after the after they they release the ban, uh, they can't come and they talk say oh now because they want to make Twitter and all the social media companies made it work better for Nigeria and all the rest. No. Mm -hmm. uh, for law, we they, we they always they check the mindsets. We they always they check the mindsets of a thing. 
of an action. We reset the mindset of an action. We know just the normal like this when governments just come to say, okay, we have to we have decided to check social media and all that and all that. No, something happened. Something happened. There is also that, that Twitter was blocked out of an emotional uh, uh, move. Something happened. They cancelled President Tweet, whether we like him or not. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, these people are politicians. They will not make it look like it is our own game. Right? Mm -hmm. And that is why the country say, okay, they don't come to terms. Now, most of these terms are futuristic terms. They are very futuristic terms. Yeah. They don't have, they, they don't, they, see, nothing right now from Twitter can happen. Nothing right now. Most of these terms are futuristic terms. Now, do you give them a time frame? Do you tell them that between this month and this month, you must incorporate in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Right? Now, incorporation is different from establish, uh, establishing. Of course, a year or so ago, we, we, we heard that uh, we be say Twitter uh, established for Ghana. Establishment involves, involves uh, establishment also involves, uh, what do you call it? It also involves, uh, uh, it involves uh, incorporating, building, having an office and all of that. Mm -hmm. Incorporation, now just to get registered for CSC. Okay. I don't know if you get the point. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So, outside the incorporation, they can also talk about the tax, the tax something. They can also talk about, so, okay, Twitter will give 6% tax turnover. Mm hmm that is not something that will happen immediately. It is something that is going to happen maybe at the end of the year, depending on the time frame or monthly or whatever, however mm -hmm. they intend to run and chew. You understand? Yeah. But at the end of the day, this is happening in 2022. Next year is the election. Oh, okay, so... The um. Yeah, go on. Okay, so Mr. Um, Edward, as you don't talk, I'm now see some of the conditions or terms and conditions that the federal government gave Twitter. Uh, did they like long term mm. conditions, like when I go open mm. office, we we'll don't know when, yeah. uh, when I go register, we we'll mm. never know when, um, when I go yeah, get exactly. represented, um, on, when I go give us back end access, we we'll never know how and yes. when, and all of yeah. that. So yes. then comparing that yes. now to the amount of money where we say government don't lose so far or don't invest into um, establishing offices and, and uh, mm. Government don't lose for inside to block this Twitter matter. You feel say this come out say they come out Twitter ban now. If you say they come out and because of say they no one lose for that money, or they come out and because of say they look and say hope oh, don't day for Twitter to accept the agreement. As far as I'm concerned, all this was like emotional actions, emotional actions. That just just what it is. As far as I'm concerned, because how the ban? Of course, Twitter would have made more in Nigeria, no doubt, right? But the Twitter itself recorded. 1.90 billion dollars in revenue in 2021 as against the 683.4 million dollars when they make for 2020. So, and after 2021, the Nigerian government banned Twitter. Hmm. So, how this ban affect Twitter compared to IT, IT affects you? Hmm. You're not the wrong country on emotions, you're the wrong country on logic. Hmm. I don't know whether you get you wrong country on you run the country on logic. Now, the way you ban. The company when you ban, they made more profits than even you. You were not con you were not considering your people. Now, when it don't be election year, whether you like them or not, people they talk and people they make speculations. But I'm stating it that whether you like it or not, that is where our minds will go to because you are politicians and this is how you function. Hmm. You are selfish people. You are a set of selfish people. And so now, what you go benefit to now? Now, now go do. Of course, see this this the present government came in riding on the platforms, or different platforms of social media. The government did not ban anything, not withdraw anything. There were a lot of hate speeches on this, on this social media, a lot of lies and propaganda. Uh -huh. When these people never, if, if it come back to come, to come defend. Of course, this is the only tool they know how to, they know how to campaign with. Um, but but Ogafini Principe, Ogafini Principe, Ogafini Principe, if you look the ban on Twitter, well, true, 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 it is some kind of, Begin way be say talk talk where they go fake news them way be say they spread very wild and all that so um if you look at where be like say government go look say ah if we get the rights to fit won't control this one because if we not control them I mean, if we put the country into case I mean, I don't think so of course yeah uh, I support I support I support uh, in many ways the the fact that the sovereign nation make sovereign nations when nations independent nations still try to control their space. Right, control the things when they go out, control what they happen, especially for the social media and all that. Right, I support that, no doubt. Right, 
that when that control comes in, politicians are in charge. The institutions, when they control the social media, when they control the media, are they independent or are they going to be running based on the emotions of politicians? Not be the one when they say social media or TV station will talk something when the facts. But based on say, if they go against the tenant or if they go against your government, hmm. you'll come as I come banner. Th th thank you'll you. Be the, you'll be the judge for your own case. You understand? Uh... So the control is good. But can we trust the control? That's the problem. Thank you. Thank you. I don't say if we leave you, go the young way. I get one question waiting in my mouth where we're like this because some people don't come out and talk, say, it they hurt. Uh, say, they not even come up for Twitter before. Say, this is the way government they talk. Not only government agencies come up for Twitter. But I go like me respond to that question after we come back from this break. What could they go uh, take a small break, take drink water, drop cup? Will they come back to hear your response on that? Uh, so very, very funny reactions they hear, some different ones they hear. Uh, make I just see whether I feel with a couple of them. The uncomfortable hazard does at Feintola underscore FT. Talk say, hi, you are back on Twitter. Finally, other matters they hear. They say, uh, there was one I saw. Finally, I can use Twitter in my country. I'm waiting uh, Black in C, nine to put for there. Uh, another one, where they very interesting. They say, um, welcome back uh, at Twitter in Nigeria. Thank goodness, using VPN uh, meant I visited more countries for free. So when they use VPN, they use different countries, they access that. So the person say, welcome back. Say, it feels good to be back. Uh, I think I'm the most loyal citizen of Nigeria. I didn't smell Twitter during the ban. I was in uh, and talk uh, at Bordeauxran. I talk that one. Uh, one very, very interesting one day here where I go like, make we just check. Okay, yes, I've been seeing. Now, at uh, OCCP1 in uh, 1967, it talks, say, uh, this one, it say, um, the, um, the agenda of um, banning Twitter. The government lifted the Twitter ban to promote their propaganda to attack uh, the uh, uh, failed Buhari, uh, at failed Buhari government to start 2023 campaign uh, because Nigerians ignored them and started to use VPN. Now, waiting now your own conversation with that. But we still get uh, Oga Edward on the line. So, Oga Edward, looking at the responses from Nigerians regarding the lift of the ban, Hmm. You feel, say, um, the agenda or the reason why government leave the ban, uh, go really, um, the citizens go really uh, fall to that line. Or she, they feel, say, not just uh, an agenda from, by the government to just uh, be on the good side, based on, say, 2023 elections they come. What do you feel about this situation so far? You know, say, as far as government is, as far as government they concerned all over the world, man, mm -hmm. trust, trust, they always do missing between politicians and the citizens. Then when you come to Africa, mm. there is no belief system at all for politicians. So when you don't take actions like this, especially actions where you don't really sit down, think about and where we consider your citizens and all that. You just make these actions by yourself, you know, and uh, you just decide on your own, say, okay, you don't come to terms and all that. Uh, this is what will benefit Nigerians and all. Mm. Even though even though what you have done is going to benefit Nigerians, it would be difficult for Nigerians to still believe you. Hmm. Because the trust is always missing. The trust is always missing. So people will still think on the other side. People will still think what they want to think. People will still talk what they want to talk. It's just, it's just normal. It's just normal. So the belief system, the belief system is already, is already missing. Especially when, when it all comes to something like Twitter. Of course, it all starts. Of course, it does start. It has to do with the political party. And that political party, and mo most times, are not really concerned about leadership. What political parties are more or less concerned about is taking power and winning elections. Mm -hmm. They are not concerned, most times, politician, polit political parties are not really concerned about the people. Mm -hmm. Of course, the propaganda will start. Propaganda is a, 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 a part of, a, of politicking. Propaganda and a part of politics. You have to be able to put yourself there. You have to be able to uh, um, uh, amplify the little things when you do. Of course, they don't block our airport road here for Abuja. A few days ago, say that they that they launch rice pyramids, rice pyramids, and all that. And these things will be made known on Twitter as well. Mm -hmm. The same platform. You understand? So the government will still come and use this same platform, but they want to be able to use this platform on their own terms. Would Nigeria be able to trust their terms? Hmm. Of course, if the six percent turnover, they come. The same way when our taxpayers' monies have been used carelessly, mm -hmm. 
That is the way this one is also going to be used carelessly because it's still going to be at the terms of politicians. Hmm. So how much belief we want attached to these things when they happen? We still going, or West, Nigerians are still going to believe that it is propaganda. Hmm. Hey, like so, I said before, hmm. like I said before, as an independent country, it is necessary to attach control to some of these things. Okay. But so, how can we be able to trust the control that you are going to be attaching to these things? Fantastic. So you don't talk, I'm now uh, talking about, you know, banning, uh, you know, because of, you know, certain sin and all that. Now, more we look at, what thing happened before we ban Twitter? Our people for Twitter, you know, yan their mind because of tweets. And then, and then... Or got governments vex say no. As on a no sabi talk any more na hold and face on a don't we don't come out on for this platform and all that. Now they don't come and ban the platform with all the terms and conditions and all that we didn't bring. You see Nigerians being able to control the way we be say that they talk, especially to government and authorities hmm. somehow. Now where they don't unban Twitter, understanding what it make where they be banned before. You feel say government don't achieve that purpose of at least gauging the way we people they use respond, they respond to authorities. Online, yeah. <laughs> If, if governments won't really deal with some of these issues, you go deal with them, you will deal with them to the extent, say, it does affect how everybody, they talk to everybody, not only to governments. Because, of course, we're running a democracy. The people, the people are supposed to be the government. So what about cyber bullies? What about the trolls when they're on the internet? How you say they control them? Is it supposed to be about you alone? The different times when people don't, they, when, when people, have been, people have been accused falsely, when people have been lied on and all the rest. I, those ones too are your citizens. If you want to be able to fight for yourself alone, then that means you are not a government. Mm. But whether you like them or not, say that you don't have banned arms, say they don't come to terms. It is not left to, you know, when you they, when you they, when you they feature rice or when you they feature beans or whatever we see. It is left to the sea to now know, okay, wait till the sand and wait till the stone, wait till the one fitter and all that. It is left, it's not left to Twitter, not the, not the government. Now, okay, they say, okay, this, 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 this is what we want to pass through and all that. It is not left to Twitter. And I believe some of the social media agencies, they always they get these, these policies, these hate speech policies, uh, policies these are uh, uh, bitter speech policies and all this. Mm -hmm. So you get the way you go, you go talk past your tweets, the Gubana. Or your tweet not will just even pass through and all that. Mm -hmm. Now, what the government is just trying to do, I just say, as far as we are concerned, anybody went talk against us, they can do whatever they want to do. Uh, but anybody went talk against us, wanna make sure say, una, una not allow that tweet come aside. That is just what government is saying. That not just not just the plain language when they say it, because they're not they concerned about cyberbullying, they're not they concerned about trolls. But when it's against us, that is what we are concerned about. Hmm. Now, talking about hate speech, you know, say so they're very relative. I get one WhatsApp message here for you, Mr. Um, uh, Brissy Bay. He said, good morning. Uh, I'm Raphael from Kano State. Mr. Edward nailed it. Twitter ban was, uh, has, has a political agenda and uh, emotional attack uh, too. It is, it, its issues of fake news is enough reason for ban. Anything politics related, no be ordinary eye, did it take look at. Mm -hmm. so, now, so my brother, man for Kano I tell you this morning. Thank you, Mr. Edward Finney from Brisbane. Thank you, ACB. Say the answer us anytime. We will call you Shapali Shapali. Thank you. We really appreciate anytime. you. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you, Madam Precious. Thank you. There were one of you to when you come back. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much.